The President of the European Parliament, Roberta Mazzola, supports the initiative to create an international tribunal for those who unleashed the war on the territory of Ukraine. Together with Andriy Yermak, head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, they discussed this issue at the opening of the Russian war crimes exhibition in Brussels on September 5th. All the architects of the unleashed war must be punished, Andriy Yermak stated. According to the Office of the President of Ukraine, law enforcement agencies have recorded more than 40,000 crimes related to Russian aggression since February 24th, among them 26,000 war crimes of the Russian army. There is a specific person behind these crimes. On the hand, these are direct executors, Russian soldiers and the officers. Those who have raped and murdered, those who have given and executed criminal orders. But this is only the tip of the icebergs. The main uh, culprits are those who have started this terrible war against Ukraine. After each liberation of a Ukrainian city or town from occupation by the Russian army, new cynical war crimes are discovered. Ukraine still does not have accurate information about the number of Mariupol residents who were killed. According to president of Mariupol TV and volunteer Mykola Osichenko, there is information that Mariupol morgues have documented 87,000 killed. According to him, this data is not complete. The remains of those killed during the occupation continue to be found in the Kyiv region. On September 5th, police found two burned bodies in one of the garages in Bucha. The Russian military had been holding local men there, Andriy Nabutov, head of the regional police, said. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, 380 Ukrainian children have been killed and more than 700 more have been wounded. Proving the fact of the crime aggressions committed against Ukraine will be the base for the sentence. It could be either life imprisonment and significant prison terms. And the actual execution of the sentence will take place, place as soon as the defendant appear on the territory of the states they joined the treaty, uh, the treaty on the establishment of the International Special Tribunal. There are the days to do this. Either international agreements between Ukraine and other states, or agreements with the United Nations, or agreement with the European Union, or the Council of the Europe. Ukraine initiated the creation of an international tribunal for organizers and perpetrators of war crimes on the part of Russia immediately after the start of the war. The European Parliament, NATO, PACE and OSCE have already partially supported this plan. The basis for the information and launch of the special tribunal will be an international treaty. Kyiv expects that a number of countries will sign the document by the end of this year. This will be the first decisive step. The treaty specifies everything from the structure to the place and ways of financing the tribunal. It will be an international court which will deal with Putin and about 20 members of his political team who gave the orders, who made the invasion plan and who are the ringleaders of this military so-called operation. Maria Mezentseva, head of the Ukrainian delegation to PSE on the air of the National Marathon. Ukraine also offers the world community to investigate Russia's war crimes at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. The court's prosecutor Karim Khan earlier announced the creation of a permanent office of the court in Ukraine. In May, more than 40 international investigators and experts worked in the deoccupied territories. The possibility of convicting Putin and his associates without their presence remains a strong argument. However, such a prospect is unlikely, experts say, even with an international arrest warrant. But Russian officials can also be convicted in absentia. A few months after such a tribunal is established, there may be an indictment that says that Russian citizen A, B, C is accused of committing the crime at the international level. Anton Korenevich, representative of Ukraine at the UN International Court of Justice, in an interview with Radio Liberty. In addition, Ukraine will have the opportunity to take full responsibility and hold the tribunal exclusively under Ukrainian jurisdiction. According to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Tribunal 
for the former Yugoslavia, Jeffrey Nice. In a purely Ukrainian tribunal, Ukrainians themselves must give a clear answer about all for the future generations to the question of who exactly committed the crimes against their people. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bezborodko, UATV News.